Good morning, everyone. It's Rose Coleman coming to you live from my craft room here in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. It is Monday, June 24th, 2024. So excited for this week. It's going to be a fantastic week. Um, time to grab your bundles. This is the last week. Next, on Sunday, the end of this week, we are going to see the end of this bundle sale that Stampin' Up! has had for since June 5th. So if you've got bundles on your wish list, Stampin' Up! did a re big restock last week. And we've got a lot of bundles in stock now that were not available. So I don't know. They must have uh, just got an order in. But uh, last week, uh, on Thursday, when I was doing my video, uh, or when Christine was doing her video, Christine Bertram was doing her video uh, for the sweet class, we got notification that the... Um, Spotlight on Nature was back in in stock, right? However, I'm sad to say Spotlight on Nature has yet again sold out. Crazy. It is due back, but not until July 8th, the week of July 8th. So I was going to spend the entire week doing Spotlight on Nature, but I don't want to do that to you and tempt you. Um, so I had to pivot. I have a card made if you visited my blog already this morning. I do have a card made for you this morning using Spotlight on Nature. So I will show you that one. But I, I always like to show you things that you can actually get. Um, so that you can be able to grab this bundle. And I've been waiting. This is another one that I've watched go in and out, right? We've had so many exciting new bundles with the new catalog. And I, I know you're excited. I know you're excited about these. Oh, Pam says, happy birthday. Who did I miss? Somebody's birthday. Chris is coming to Calgary on Canada Day. Woohoo! <laughs> well, Krista, that is exciting indeed. Are you coming for Stampede? I am so excited. Maybe we'll get to meet. Who knows? <laughs> uh, I got to scroll and see. Good morning, Barbara from Winnipeg. Hi, Shannon from South California. Hello, hello. I don't know whose birthday it was. I missed that comment. They fly by so quickly. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. Oh, uh, Tony, best way to spend my birthday morning with my stampin' friends and dinner later with my family. Oh, happy birthday, Tony. So good so good to see you. Thank you for taking time out of your birthday to come and visit me and my video and everybody else who's watching here. Happy, happy birthday. Okay, um, so I had to pivot. I had to pivot because of Spotlight on Nature. Uh, bun the bundle's not available. It'll be July 8th, which is not that far off, right? So you know why? It's because the stamp set. It's the stamp set that's holding the bundle back, and Stampin' Up! creates their own stamps. Um, I had the amazing privilege when I went to Founder Circle in 2014 and 2015. They would always take us to the manufacturing facility in Kanab, Utah. And oh my goodness, I had a blast watching them create the stamps. So they create their own stamps there. So that's why it's not that long of a wait. So the good news is the dies are still available. And that is, in my opinion, like the best part of this bundle. So if you don't want to wait um, until it comes back July, the week of July 8th, you can add those dies to your cart today and then get the stamp set later because it's going to be past the bundle uh, promotion because the bundle promotion ends on Sunday. So I would advise you to grab the dies. Just saying, they're going to be amazing. So they're trying, I guess they're trying to catch up on the stamps and then they'll, they'll reintroduce the bundle. Um, however, we don't know the inventory status of the dies and like they're amazing. So you don't, I don't want you to miss out. That's why I'm saying grab the dies and then grab your stamps later if you want to do it that way. Um, but I am pivoting and I'm going to change my focus of the week to country birdhouse because this one is back in stock. You can get the entire thing. You can get this bundle and you can also get the country flowers. Now these are all part of the country woods suite. Now, the suite is not available before anybody says it's not available. The bundles are available. The suite's not available because the paper is back ordered. <laughs> so when you put in the suite number, it might not work to, for you because that's what's holding it back, right? So the suite number doesn't give you a discount or anything. The suite is, number just gives you an easy way to enter it so that you don't have to enter a bunch of item codes. But you can still get the... Um, 
the gray dots, the, the smoky, I think they're smoky slate dots, the ribbon, the embossing folder. Um, there's two packs of paper and this is a ginormous suite and you can get these two bundles. So I'm going to focus on uh, Country Woods this week, uh, particularly Country Birdhouse and I'm pivoting. <laughs> All right, let's get started and we're going to play with Global Design Project. Global Design Project this week, hashtag GDP451. And it's a theme challenge and we have a theme of winged things, winged things. <laughs> and it's not me, it's not my hair, <laughs> although I do think I got some wings sticking off here. Um, it's called wing things. So it's our birds, it's our butterflies, it's our bees, all of those types of things that um, they're encouraging us to pull out and use this week. So let's get started. I'm going to flip the camera now that I've explained everything. And I want to say a huge thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Everybody who placed orders last week for the beauties, um, layers of beauty. Oh my gosh, those cards. I am totally loving them and I'm making more. And I can't wait to send these kits to you today. So we are going to be kitting up those today to get them in the mail to you so that you can um, get your, you know, get crafting with them as well. Um, let's see. Anne Marie says, thank you so much for your, ah, uh, you're most welcome. I love my team so much, you guys, and sending you happy mail makes me happy. It fills my heart with joy. So thank you. You're most welcome, Anne Marie, and thank you for, um, acknowledging it. <laughs> okay, let's get started. I'm going to share this card with you. And the theme, as I mentioned, is winged Things. And there is a bird in Country Birdhouse. So that's what we're going to use today to make this card. All right, here we go. We're going to flip the camera. And we got a beautiful blue sky, that beautiful Alberta blue sky here today. Love the blue sky. And we're going to, we have a new host code. This one starts today. It's good till Sunday. So as always, my uh, products, my uh, kits are available until midnight on Sunday. If you love what you see and you place a minimum $60 order with me, I'm so happy to prep these kits and to send them to you. Okay, so Global Design Project Challenge, hashtag GDP451. So we're gonna play with Country Woods, Country, it's specifically Country Birdhouse because we wanna bring in that bird for the winged uh, theme, right? But I'm opening up the catalog to show you. Country Woods is on pages 50 and 51. The item code for the suite will not work, but you can put all the individual item codes. Country Birdhouse is the one I'm going to focus on. Um, so amazing with that birdhouse is just out of this world. Uh, there's so much you can do with it. You're going to have fun playing with that one this week. Okay, so that's uh, the item code for Country Birdhouse. My focus for this week is... 163401 and the regular price in Canada is $64.75 but because we have the bundle 10% off sale it's marked down to 5750 so that's a really great deal on that bundle. Okay, let's bring in the pieces for my my card. So we're going to play with the theme of winged things, winged things. <laughs> okay. So I'm bringing in um, let's see here. We need Knight of Navy. So we're going to use Knight of Navy for our background. And it's an eight and a half by five and a half scored in the middle at four and a quarter. So this is going to be my card base. And then when I was designing this card, I pulled in some, some gorgeous paper that I have to order more of because look at my package. This is about half a pack gone. <laughs> this is Meandering Meadows, item code 162735. And we're going to play with this pattern right here. Okay. And um, what else do we have? Okay. So I also want to, because I'm bringing in this pattern, I want to pull in that Melon Mambo right here, the Melon Mambo from this pattern. So let's grab a piece of melon mambo card front okay and we're going to emboss it with the distressed tile embossing folder i love this folder it is so fun i love how all parts of the folder come out differently it's that true um texture you know uh <laughs> Uh, sad about spotlight on nature. Yeah, Linda, you know what? Don't worry. This is the annual catalog, which we have for an entire year. It'll be back the week of July 8th. So you'll be able to get that one then. You can wait if you, if you want to wait, or you can go ahead and grab the dies because I'm going to show you on my card today. I do use the dies and they are available. 
Okay, so we're gonna grab this but this folder, pop our Milo Mambo in. I'm lining it up with that line on the folder, and we're going to set this stuff aside, and we're gonna emboss. Let's bring in my big machine. Last week, guys, last chance to get this big machine, and also the mini bosses are on sale, 10% off. So if you've been waiting, this is the time to do it. I wouldn't wait too long because Stampin' Up! does have limits on their promotion and they don't tell us what they are. So grab those bundles, grab the machines, don't miss out on that 10% discount. This is smoking deal, right? If you're ordering a machine, plus you're ordering a bundle, you can save a lot of money. All right, so now let's take a look. The distressed tile, see that? Can you see the different areas? So beautiful, so amazing. I reach for this folder all the time. Okay, so now I'm gonna leave my machine here because I wanna do some die cutting. So I'm gonna put my platform number one back. And let's see. I'm going to bring in the Spotlight on Nature bundle. Okay, so here it is. Now it's not available, as I mentioned, because it is sold out in, um, the stamps are sold out. So, but it's coming back not too long off, but you can get the dies. Now the dies, let me show you what they look like. Oh my goodness, you guys. It's a set of 12 dies and I'm gonna hold them up close here. I actually have sheet one and sheet two. There's so many of them. There's 12 of them and they have, look at the different details. I'm gonna hold it close. We've got radiating stitches. We've got these little, like little petals going around. We've got the dotted line going around. And so you get like between both sides, as you can see, you're gonna get every size in each of the design, right? So 12 dies that you need in your collection. Even if you just buy the dies, grab them, grab them, grab them. You won't regret it. You'll be, you'll be able to use this in all of your paper crafting, right? And then, you know, you can still get the spotlight on nature later. All right, so we're, I'm using these dies and the ones that I'm gonna use for my card are this one here with the stitches, the radiating stitches. I'm gonna use that one. I'm also going to use um, this one right here with the, I wanna use three different ones with the lines going around. And then I need another kind of bigger, uh, let's see, is it this one? With those little petals going around. Yes, okay. So I'm just pulling out three different sizes. So let me share with you what I'm gonna do. I'm going to bring in the Meandering Meadows paper. So you're gonna get these pieces cut for you when you purchase with me this week. You're gonna get this Meandering Meadows Designer Series paper cut in this circle here. So let's get my scissors and we'll just trim it so that it's just the right size. Put a piece of post-it tape on there. Once I've got it in position, I'm gonna pull in all of the Melon Mambo color here. Okay, so make sure that stays put. You know what, let's do this. Let's rip it in half and we'll put it on two sides there. Then it shouldn't move. All right, so then these two pieces here, we're gonna cut uh, with basic white cardstock. So let's grab a scrap of basic white. I've got some on my desk here. Let's see, is this big enough? Yeah, look at that. Oh, it's gonna be a good Monday. <laughs> Okay, so they fit. Small things make me happy, guys. Okay, so let's bring back our machine and we're gonna cut these out. You're gonna get these in your kit this week. So if you buy the Birdhouse bundle, you're already at $57.50 in Canada. You're almost there for my $60 um, minimum. And then just add a pack of dimensionals or add some glue or add some envelopes, whatever it is you need. And you're gonna get my card kits for free. Okay, so I'm layering all my layers, put my circles. Do I need a piece of tape? Let's put a piece of tape that anchors both of them. And then this one. All right, here we go. Now we're gonna roll this through and cut these out. I've got some little bits on my cutting mat here and it's best to use something to like get those off. I use a piece of cardstock and just sweep them off because I don't want those indentations on my cardstock. If you've got little bits like that left over and you use your cutting mat, a cutting plate, um, that stuff transfers down into your cardstock and you don't want that, right? So make sure you've got clean cutting plates and you should be good to go. Okay, rolling all this through. And then let's take a little swipe onto my work surface here. 
Okay, let's take a look. We've got, let's see here. The dies are beautiful. Yes, they are. They are stunning. Okay, so here we go. We're going to just pop this one out. I'll hold that close so you can see the radiating stitches going all the way around that beautiful floral pattern. And then the white ones, let's take the dies off. And the other part of it too, with these dies, you want to make sure you clean them out. You want to make sure that your die cut is nice and clean and you got no little bits. I just do this with my finger, just kind of flick them out. And then you can take your, take your pick tool and just pop out any other little bits. They do come out super easily. There we go. Okay. So there's that one. Isn't that gorgeous? I love the shapes. And then with the dies, if you have issues with the paper sticking inside, run it through on a bounce dryer sheet or not bounce. It can be any dryer sheet. It doesn't have to be a brand name. <laughs> and that really does magic to uh, release that paper. But I like to take it and just kind of like drop it and you see how, how all the bits just go crazy. They just pop out. And that's just my little kind of lazy way, but it works. Look at that. It's clean. It's clean. I'll do the same thing. <laughs> with that one and that worked as well so there you go easy easy you don't have to sit there and poke at your die to get it clean all right just make some snow and I will have to get my vacuum out <laughs> for that okay so we got our three circles and we've got our knight of navy card base we've got our distressed tile in Melon Mambo and I thought oh I want to do something different to the distressed tile I haven't done this in a long time so I brought in my craft white ink pad. Now our white ink pad, hi Marlene, um, our white ink pad is a different type of ink pad. If, as you can see, it's like a foam and it's a craft ink. Now craft ink is pigment ink. When I first started in 2002, we had two different color lines. We had a, a craft line in all of our colors and we had classic ink, which is water-based in all of our colors. Now we have craft in just white alone. And it's all, it's really good. It's a pigment ink, which is sticky. So pigment ink, you have to let it dry or you have to heat set it um, if you're using it to stamp with. I'm just going to use it to add a little bit of distressed area to my Melon Mambo. So I've got a sponge dauber on my finger. I'm going to dip into my white ink pad and I'm just going to grab like different areas here and just add a little bit of that white ink to make it look a little bit more distressed and to bring out that amazing tile pattern. So I'm just gonna do a couple of areas because my circles are really gonna cover up a lot of this background. But I just wanna bring in that uh, white. Here, I'll hold it close so you can see. It's a really nice way to accent your cardstock. Okay, so there's our white. Then what we're gonna do, before we put this onto our Knight of Navy, I'm gonna bring in this ribbon. I love this ribbon and I'm so happy that it carried over. This is the silver and white, what is it called? Sheer ribbon. And it's just so sparkly. I just love it. So I'm going to add a layer of that to my um, Melon Mambo. So I'm going to grab my tear and tape. Make sure you've got lots of tear and tape and liquid glue in your stash. It's a great thing to stock up on. A lot of people reach out to me and they're like, I'm a demonstrator, but I want your kits. How do I get them? And I already own the bundle. Well, you can totally be a part of my classes and my uh, ordering specials if you're a demonstrator. When you go onto the website, um, if you see a navy blue bar at the top, that means you're logged in as a demonstrator. And if you want to avail of my free kits, you're going to have to just do the click the drop down menu under your name and click customer view. And then in that view, you're going to be able to put in my host code that's up here at the top of the screen and it'll allow you to purchase with me and get my card kits for free. So that is a question I get a lot. So I thought I would just address it and see if, uh, if that helps. So hopefully that helps clear up any issues if you have, um, if you're in Canada, of course, now that is a Stampin' Up! rule. I can't do business um, with anyone outside of Canada, but you, you guys are still always free to come and come and watch my videos or purchase my tutorials in my tutorial store. Um, those are things I can do for anyone outside of Canada. Okay. So we've got our ribbon anchored down and we're just going to grab my liquid glue, get it flowing here on a Monday. Here we go. We're going to add glue to the other parts 
And then we're gonna put this onto the card front. I mean, Melamambo and navy is a really pretty combo as well, right? You guys know I love Melamambo and black, but navy is a nice color. And the reason I chose navy is because there's a lot of navy happening in this paper. So that's that was my background of my decision. So we're gonna do some stamping on here. So let's bring in Country Birdhouse and see what we can do. Um, this small one's gonna have my greeting and the bigger one is gonna have the bird, okay? So let's grab this, those stamps. So we're gonna grab the stamp of the bird. We're gonna stamp, what's gonna fit on that circle? How about hello friend? Yes, hello friend will fit there. Okay, so I don't wanna lose one of my dies fill out. Let's put that back. Look at the dies in this bundle. It's a set of 23 dies. Oh my goodness, I love this one. Okay, but today we're using the bird. We're gonna use Hello Friend. I'm just gonna lay that on the die cut and look at that, it works. It works, you guys. I'm so happy. And then the bird, we're gonna stamp the bird right there. And so that the bird is not floating in midair, I'm actually gonna grab these speckles, these little speckles, and we're gonna stamp the bottom. Love a good background stamp. This one here is fantastic, so nice. I love this one too, the little long um, stamp right here. And there's another one that looks like a chain. There's one over here that looks like the wood grain. So you could actually stamp your birdhouse with wood grain if you wanted to. So let's get our stamps on some blocks here. Okay, so we've got Hello Friend and we've got the bird and our stipple. Let's grab a stamp for this or a block for the stipple and let's grab some ink. So we're gonna need Memento Black and Hmm. Memento Black. I'm thinking crumb cake for the little stipple part. And Hello Friend. Let's do that in Melon Mambo. Let's pull in the Melon Mambo. Okay. Got all that. Let's grab my Memento ink. And crumb cake. And I think that's good. Now our bird, we just have to decide on the colors for the bird. And there's a lot of color. I like to pull in the colors from the DSP. So I'm gonna pull in a little bit of balmy blue, make it a little bit of a blue bird. And I also have some lemon lolly on my desk. So we'll use that too. All right, now we got all our supplies. Let's stamp. So I'm gonna do the stipple first, the little speckles at the bottom of this die, like that. And then we're just gonna place the bird on those speckles. He's just gonna be standing on the speckles. Now you, there is a die for the bird. You could stamp the bird and then die cut them. I'm just gonna stamp them right on my layer here. Boom. Okay, and then last but not least, we're gonna stamp our greeting using Melon Mambo ink. Here we go, tap, tap, tap. And stamp in the center of this circle. Love it. Okay. All right. So now we're going to flip them over. Let's let's get them anchored down onto my card. So I'm going to grab my dimensionals. Everything's going on a dimensional today. We're going to pop all of this card up and I'm putting four on there. And I'll put three on here. All the, the dimensionals. Now, I'm just gonna hold off on this one down here for a second. I'm just gonna get my big circles positioned. This is a great sketch that I'm using here with three circles. And I can't remember where I got this sketch idea if I got it from page 22 of the catalog. Did you guys know that on page 22 of the catalog, there's lots of ideas, lots of sketches that Stampin' Up! has given us um, to you know, help us with laying out our cards. Okay, so this is gonna go right over here to the left like that love this image and then i'm going to put the bird right here like that and then this one the hello friend is going to sit right here so it's got like a cluster of circles but i want to bring in another piece of the silver and white um silver and white sheer ribbon it's a smaller piece, probably about four inches. And we're gonna just slip that under and make a little fobo, a little bit of a sparkly fobo. So just tie a simple knot like that. Okay, there we go. 
And the beauty of this knot is you can slide it. You can slide it to the left, you can slide it to the right. You can totally move it around until you're happy with the position. And I think I'm gonna leave it right there. And then my greeting is gonna go right here. So I'm gonna take a dimensional and I'm going to put it like a little bit onto the ribbon and at the top and then another one down here a little bit onto the ribbon so that is going to serve a purpose of like holding on the ribbon and also holding this fun greeting so let's go ahead and put that down there we go and then we can trim our fobo like that now if you wanted to you could take your blends and you could color this ribbon it looks really nice colored as well and you know what i wonder if i can just move all this down this is the other fun part uh, of the um, embossing. The embossing is bumpy and it allows you to um, actually pick up a, pick up things. So I'm just going to lay this here and then I kind of wanted them to touch a little bit or be a little bit closer. So let's move them, maneuver them a little bit to make them the way I had envisioned. Okay, there we go. I'm happier with that. Okay, so last but not least, we're just going to Make sure your ribbon is the way you want it. And I didn't take off the backing. <laughs> that's why that's not sticking. Okay, make sure your backing's off of all your dimensionals. All right, so now we just get to add a little color to our bird. So let's give them a little yellow beak and some yellow uh, feet. And let's give them a little streak. Let's give them some highlights. <laughs> let's give them some highlights on his wing and on his tail. And the rest of him is going to be balmy blue. Let's give this, this is going to be a really pretty blue bird here. Okay, so then we're just going to come around and fill in the white parts with the blue. So amazing, right? So easy. All right, so there we go. There's the front of our card. For the inside of the card, let's bring back the stamp set and see what it says. Hello, my, it says hello friend on the front. And then the inside we can say, hope you have the best day ever. How about happy birthday? Always need birthday cards. So let's grab the happy birthday and we'll put that on here. Let's get a block, pick that up and let's put it sideways because my block is too small. All right, so we're gonna stamp happy birthday on the inside. And if you don't want to bend your stamp, if you want to make sure your stamp is staying this the way that it was designed, pick it up, lay it down on your table, and then just gently pick it up from the top. And that way you know that you haven't changed the configuration of your stamp. Okay, so happy birthday right there. And then, you know, you could do other things on the inside. Um, those dies are really, they just want to jump out. They're anxious for me to use them. What about we add some flowers, right? We could do a little floral image like this or a small little one like that. I'm liking that. So let me grab that one and grab a block and let's stamp that on the inside. There, we got a flower, easy peasy. All right, so we'll just grab that um, a Melon Mambo marker and I'll touch a color to that little, looks like a tulip, to the tulip. And then I see Granny Apple Green coming through that paper. So I'm gonna grab some Granny Apple Green and just add a little touch of green to the stems. There we go, easy peasy. All right, so then we can put that on the inside and this is a quick and easy card. It's gonna be super fast for you guys to complete this card because you're gonna get everything already pre-cut. Boom, you just have to stamp your bird and the stipples and the hello friend <laughs> and the inside. Here we go, there we go. Okay, so let me share with you, at the beginning of the video, I mentioned how I had planned on going with a Spotlight on Nature, and uh, but it's the stamps are sold out, so I wanted to pivot. And so if you already own Spotlight on Nature, here is my card. Oh, I forgot my bling. Okay, we gotta put bling on this one too. So my bling is gonna be glossy dots. So. There's my, on the right hand side here, you see I did, this is my sample using the Spotlight on Nature, which I was prepared and planned and ready to go with. And this one over here is using Country Bird House. So let's use these glossy dots. These are amazing and they carried over you guys. Look at all the dots you get. You get Gorgeous Grape, Melon Mambo, Daffodil Delight, and 
I believe this is pool party. It could also be Coastal Cabana. Um, I just don't have it written on here. So we're going to use, on this one I use Melon Mambo. We could use Melon Mambo on here, but you know what? We can also use Daffodil Delight. That works as well. So let's do that. I'm going to put Daffodil Delight on this one. And we'll put a medium one over here. And we'll put a small one. I love these dots because you get the triple, you get triple, um, let's put that one right there. You get uh, triples, right? And that's often what I use on a card is like, three mil mumbo, three, you know, three of one color, and they're all positioned perfectly, and you get a whopping 180 dots. So glossy dots, add that to your card. Oh my goodness, I love them. All right, <laughs> I hope you like this card. Um, those Spotlight on Nature dies are fantastic. You have to add them to your cart. You're going to want, you're going to want those circle dies, believe me. And I hope that they carry forward for many years and we keep them in our collection. <laughs> All right. Take care, everyone. Have a fantastic Monday. I hope your week is off to a great start. And I can't wait to share Country Birdhouse with you this week. Here we go. We're starting off with that little bird and a little hello friend. All right. Take care. I'll see you tomorrow. Go Oilers, go. The game is tonight. Maybe we'll be bringing that Stanley Cup home tonight. <laughs> Here's hoping. All right. We'll see you tomorrow morning at nine o'clock. Bye-bye.